Welcome back to our channel guys. Today we'll be talking about algebra, most specifically algebraic expressions and how to add and subtract algebraic expressions. So these are some of the few examples. I'll just rotate the paper. Just jot them down and then you can save them as we go along in the video. So the, exam the first example that we're going to work on is a plus 2b minus c plus 3a. So when you are working with algebraic um, expressions and they say to you, add and subtract or simplify these algebraic expressions or simplify the following, you need to consider the letters or the variables as your fruits. That's how I have, to, that's how I remember them. So you have your A, you have your B and you have your C and you have your other A. So first, consider your A's as your apple. So just write them down. A stands for apple. And then your B can be your banana. And then your C can be your lemon. Right? So you got that down. So whenever you're adding or subtracting algebraic um, equations or expressions, excuse me, you first have to collect your apples together, collect your bananas together, and collect your lemons together. So we first start off with A. So A is our banana, our apple, sorry. A plus, where is our other apple? It's three, uh, three A. And then now we're collecting our bananas plus two B. And then is there another banana? There's no another banana. So now we have what? Our lemon, which is our C, right? So we put that down. So that's how it is. Now, the second step that we now have to do is that we have to now add or subtract apples from apples, bananas from bananas, and lemons from lemons. So we have one apple plus three apples. That gives us four apples, right? And then we check for the bananas. We just have two bananas, so we bring that down as just two bananas. And then we check our lemons. We just have negative one lemons. There's no other lemon, then we just bring that down. So that is your answer on that one. Okay, now we're on our second example. And like the previous example, we put our apples, our bananas, our lemons together, and then we add them, and then that will be our answer. So first we have A is our apple i'll write that down again b is our banana you can use any fruits that you like um, and then c is our lemon and then there will be a point whereby a number just is just a number without any variable just consider that as just a number it doesn't have it's not a fruit it's just a loan term or yeah because it doesn't have any variables which in this case is our five. I'll just put a dot and then you'll see what we're going to do with that five at the end, right? Okay, so you put your equal sign and then you look for your apples. So I have what? Just negative 12 apples, negative 12A. You just bring that down. You look, do you have any Bs? There's no Bs. Okay, cool. Do you have any Cs, which are your lemons? Yeah, so I have plus 3C. Then I have another C here, which is plus just a C. But a C like this or an A like this without a number, it just means one. Don't forget that. If there's no number here in front, it just means one. And then with this lone number that doesn't have anything on the end, at the end or doesn't have a variable, you just bring that down there. It's not an apple. It's not a banana. It's not a lemon. You just don't do anything to it. You just bring it down as it is. Okay, cool. So now you're adding your apples. Okay, I have just negative 12 apples. That's fine. And then you have your three lemons plus your one lemon. Three plus one is, so let's put the A there. Three plus one is four. And then you just bring back the variable. And then that five, you just bring it down as it is. So this becomes your answer. That's it. So in our third example, we have 2x plus 3y minus 3x plus 4z, okay? So we no longer have the a, the b, the c, and stuff. But even in even in that case, or in that instance, variables come in like different letters, so it's okay. We're just going to consider our x. So we have an x here. x is going to be our apple this time. Our y is going to be our banana. And then our z will be our lemon. 
You can just choose any fruits. It's not a train smash. Okay, so now we put our equal sign and then we put 2x, that's our apple. We bring in the other apple, which is negative 3x. And then our banana is just, there's just one plus 3y. And then for our lemon, only have just this one term, which is 4z, right? And then you do this. Make sure that you write all these apples and bananas on the side, or when you're done like solving the question, just erase it. So that the, the person who's grading your paper doesn't get confused, but this is how you're gonna recall and remember everything. So now we have two X minus three. So now we're adding our bananas, our, uh, sorry, our apples, our bananas and lemons together. So we have two X minus three X. So two sorry gonna just say three minus two is one which term is bigger it's the negative so you're gonna put negative x right so whenever you're subtracting or adding um in algebra you just say if it's different um signs you just subtract them from each other and you take the sign of the bigger term which in this case it's negative and then our banana which is our y doesn't have another banana you're just gonna bring it down as it is our lemon, which is our Z, doesn't have another term, which is just 4Z. So most mathematicians or most people that grade your papers don't like seeing a negative one. So you can just say negative X plus 3Y plus 4Z. It's also still correct. So that's it. So this is sort of like our part B, whereby we'll be solving um, algebraic expressions which have exponents on them it's a bit more complex but it's still a similar approach similar analogy and i'll walk you through that so the first example is a squared plus 2a squared minus 3c plus 2 right so you're probably just sitting there like wondering okay where's my banana because now there's like exponents on top of them similar approach similar um similar approach similar um thinking as before even if you have the exponents on them it still doesn't change the fact that it's still a, a banana and an orange and an apple right okay and i'll just make an example now so we have a squared a squared is just just take that one as like a, a letter a lone letter so your a squared will be the apple and then we have C, your C will be your banana. And then there's that loan term there, right? So these are gonna be our like terms. So we have A squared, which is in other words, let's just write it down, it's one A squared plus two A squared minus three C plus two, right? Let me just jot this down on the side. Okay, so one plus two is three a squared minus three c plus two. This is just gonna be our answer. So even if there's exponents, they just take it as if it's still a banana, it's still an orange, still an apple, and you'll see on the second example how we would approach an instance whereby there's probably an A squared and just an A. Are those the same bananas or not? So I'll just walk you through another example. Okay, so this is the second example of the more complex algebraic expressions, right? So now we have 7x minus 8y squared minus 2y cubed minus 2y squared. Right, so still similar approach or same approach. We're gonna write down our apples, our bananas, and our lemons, right? Okay, so we have. So what I like to do is that I like to work on algebraic equations or expressions according to the descending number of exponents. So the highest exponent here is three. So my y cubed in this instance is my my apple. All right so y cubed and y squared are different it's not the same apple so you cannot say those are like terms okay so what's the second highest exponent here it's squared so i'm gonna take my y squared as my banana All right and then what's the second um highest exponent here it's just 
the x which is a one if it doesn't have a number it just means one there so my x is gonna be my lemon okay so now let's solve it okay now let's try and solve this right so let's put the apples together let's put the bananas together and let's put the lemons together right so our y cubed or y to the power of three is our apple so we're gonna have negative 2y cubed now we're going to follow on there's no other um apple with our y squared which is negative 8y squared and then our other y squared is negative 2y squared right there's no other banana so we have our lemon which is positive 7x right Let's just bury this. Don't forget to erase this. Otherwise, the person that's marking your scripts will be confused, right? So now we're adding our apples together, our bananas together, and our lemons together. So now let's add our apples together, our bananas together, and our lemons together. So our apples, we only have this negative 2y apple. So we're going to just bring it down. There's no other apple. It's negative 2y cubed. And then our banana, we have the negative 8y squared minus 2y squared. The signs are the same, so we're just going to add them. So we're going to say 8 plus 2 is 10. Both signs are negative, so we're going to say negative 10y squared. And then we have our lemons, which don't have another counterpart, which is just 7x. And that is your answer. That's it. So this is our last and final um, question on this topic. So we're given 4x to the power of 3 or 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x. So now we need to group our apples, our bananas, and our lemons, right? So we have x cubed, and we do this according to the descending number of exponents. So we have 3, we have 2, and then remember I said if there's not, no number here, it's 1, right? So we're going to say x cubed is our apple and then we have x to the x squared x squared is our banana it's our banana and then we have just x so x is our lemon right so when you look at this question it just has an apple it has a banana it has a lemon so now you're probably thinking I can't, can I add an apple to an orange? If I'm given one apple and one banana, how many apples does that give me? And how many bananas does that give me? It still gives you one um, apple and one banana. You can't add an apple and an orange together or a banana together and say I have two. So that's not how it works. So the answer to this question is just four apples, three bananas, and two lemons. That's it. Just remember to raise this on the side. That's your answer. You cannot add non-like terms. These are non-like terms because even if it's just x's, the x to the power of 3 is different from x to the power of 2 and x to the power of 1. So this is your answer. That's it. So thank you so much for watching the video till the very end. Please remember to like comment share and subscribe to the channel for more videos and looking forward to seeing you on the next videos if you have any questions please feel free to leave them down on the comment section and we will reply as soon as possible happy learning and thank you so much bye bye